Welcome to the Dick Sporting Goods NIT season tip-off regional final between FIU and Virginia Tech. All part of ESPN's tip-off marathon presented by Disney Parks. Mike and he kicks it to Hudson. Back into the corner for the three. Nice shot by Dorian Finney-Smith, the young man out of Portsmouth, Virginia. Part of the best recruiting class that Seth Greenberg has ever had. George Mason last night, Virginia Tech, pushes it. Davila with the miss, but the tip by Dorian Finney-Smith, he got the shot. Greenberg has built quite a program here. And there's an easy basket for Lorenzo Hudson underneath. Yeah, double figures last night and beat George Mason. They're the four of this FIU attack. Juan Wright got his first shot and couldn't hit it. Green with a runner. Eric Green, the junior out of Winchester. Finney Smith kicks it over to Eric Green. Wide open for the jumper. That's a three in Virginia Tech. Second chance point. Out hustling FIU. Good feed along the baseline, but a better defensive player, and that's Finney Smith. That was a pretty good job right here. There's a save, and... Oh, that's Davila. Just a terrific job by Davila with the timing, avoiding the contact. And able Taylor gets it low to Ferguson, and Ferguson is rejected. Ferguson stole it, then had it taken back. Hudson, good job to get the ball back in his hands. Passed the test, he got a foul. Garland, nice, nice bounce pass to Davila. Managed to get a three-on-one advantage. To move laterally, or try to get them off their feet totally before they make a move. Parksdale, nice little turnaround jump shot. Second. And a product of ball reversal, Garland of the nice job finding Davila on the baseline for the finish. Of course, they're 19 years old, too. Yeah, and everybody keeps telling them, you should be tired, you should be tired. <laughs> Hudson delivered in the early going. Yeah, last year he had the good fortune to play behind Jeff Allen to be a starter, but certainly trying to get his offense going can't do it. Take a look oh. at number five. He might have gotten there late, but certainly he was outside as a secondary defender outside the arc. Contact was made outside of the arc or not the restricted area. It's still a block. Jumper by Hudson. He has 11 in the first half. To FIU. This early in the season would still create some damage. Lorenzo Hudson doesn't want to hear any of that, Lenny. Size and good judgment. Green. Got it. That's a three. Eric Green. Jeremy Allen commits the foul. And here are the first half stats. Virginia Tech shooting their best outside shooter. The 6'4 senior. Good fake by Green, then tries to teardrop, teardrop in the lane and gets it. And it's kind of zone pressure, 2-2-1. Two, two, oh! Davila. And a man under the basket is going to be unable to draw the foul or draw the charge. It is going to be a foul on right. And again, aggressively attacking the full court pressure. Secondary defender. Ooh. Boy, he got it. Finney Smith, good bounce pass. And Davila, beautiful move with the left hand. Looked like Virginia. Davila backing in, jump up. Nice. Well, Seth Greenberg said this has to be Victor Davila's team right now. i doing a lot of the dirty work. He's the feature guy now. Allen drives the baseline, turns it over. Green with a runner. Great body control by Eric Green. And when you take a look at this fast break, Virginia Tech quick to the basket. FIU calls a timeout because they're tired. Taylor almost a set shot with the miss. The follow won't go, and here comes Tech on the run. This is Garland. Tyrone Garland first to the bucket and lays it in. And you're right about Virginia Tech. They are very deep. They have backup guys in just about every position. Hudson knocks down a three. Hudson waited quite a while to get off his first shot of the second half, but he made it count. The question is when. 
And how good will the Blue Devils be this year? Good entry to Davila. And Davila able to score off the assist from Tyrone Garland. The first game of the season the other night. Here's a steal. The kick ahead to Robert Brown. And Brown all the way for the basket. Stout FIU team, but one that has to start feeling oh. fatigued. Blocking foul, the basket counts. Picks up the personal. Again, aggressive to the basket, that's what you have to be. And goes back to the point I made about playing well against the zone, just not being able to knock down shots. And Dorian Finney Smith showing you his range. Hudson goes with the left hand and put it through. Beautiful move by Dorenzo Hudson who hit that red shirt and play this year, and he's making the most of it so far. Hudson gets a rebound, outlet pass to Garland. Nice save. Beautiful job by Garland to get it to Dorian Finney-Smith. He hits the bucket and draws the foul on top of it. Put teams away as Virginia Tech on their way to just doing just that. You just got to hustle at every opportunity, not relax. Full court pressure. Finney-Smith, all oh, beautiful. Reigns the beneficiary. I'll tell you what, again, he's got point guard skills. And actually has played some point for Virginia Tech. This is a nice job just drawing a defender. It was excessive. Well, at least they painted the semicircle in the lane this year. <laughs> really, ain't just having his guess. Thank goodness for small favors. Garland with a miss. Hudson with a follow. To Florida Atlantic. Being coached by Mike Jarvis. One thirty-nine left here. That foul is on Ferguson. <laughs> and they're tracking John Cal, the official, as he walks toward the scorer's table. And every time he takes a step, they're going left, right, left, right. And in, and in perfect time. They're switching officials. <laughs> Good inbounds play, and Joey Racer gets his name to the scoreboard. And Virginia Tech is going to run its record to 3 0 and hand Florida International its first loss of the season. Once again, our final score is 78-63.